Namaskaram. Seventy-four years of independence, the dreams of Bhavya Bharat still burning in the hearts and minds of over a billion people. At a time like this, we must remember that the beauty of Bharat is we have formed this nation not on the basis of sameness, but on the basis of variety of who we are. In ideologies, in faith, in caste, in ethnicity, in every way, <laughs> we are the most colorful nation. And it's very important we stay this way. At a time like this, we must remind ourselves that our independence, the independence of this nation has been earned with enormous amount of suffering and sacrifice from a whole generation of people or two, three generations of people. These seventy-four years have been a tremendous progress in terms of our life expectancy, economy, general infrastructure. As a nation, we have moved. But the question always is, could we have moved much faster, much better? Definitely yes. Many mistakes have been made, but there is no point in dwelling on those mistakes. There is no point constantly highlighting our problems. It is time that we use whatever ideology you believe in. Please see how your ideology or your way of looking at life could be a solution for the many problems of this nation. How your faiths can be a solution for this nation. How your culture can be a solution for this nation. Let your faith be a personal pursuit within yourself. Let your caste be just about the tapestry of variety of cultures of this nation. Let us not use ideology, faith, caste and creed as a divisive force, as a way to fragment this nation. We are at a juncture right now, particularly with this pandemic sweeping across the country. Well, it is a very hard time for many, many of us. Every citizen in the country will pay a certain amount of price. At the same time, it is a tremendous possibility. In the world, we were left behind for a nation that we are, for the intellect, for the knowledge, the history and the cultural strength we have. We have not found a firm footing in the committee of nations. We are not on equal terms with many. Even among the Asian countries, our living standards of our citizens have not risen to that. This is an opportunity to create a level playing field. In many ways, we have been left behind maybe twenty-five, thirty years behind many nations. This is an opportunity that post-pandemic, we have a tremendous possibility if only we function as one nation, if we use our diversity as a possibility, if we use the multifarious aspects of this nation, the most colorful existence that we have as a great asset, if one billion people stand up to making of a nation, we can do something that's never been done in the history of humanity. That is, we can take a large mass of people from one level of living to another. Well, in some nations it's been done in a very forceful manner, but never before in one generation has a large number of people, let's say six hundred million people, we can move them in the next twenty years' time from one level of living to another. Such a thing has never been done before, but such an opportunity is there in our hands, right in front of us for this generation of people. Let every citizen focus on this, particularly the youth of this country. You must understand the future of the nation rests on your skills, on your ability, on your determination, on you functioning in an inspired manner in this country. Let us not debate our differences, 
let us celebrate our differences and make the dream of over one billion people into a living reality. Right now is the time post-pandemic, we must ensure that there is a burst of activity in this country, a focused activity for building this nation. Let us not debate whether there should be nationhood or not. Let us not debate whether nationalism is needed or not. Nationalism is not a religion. We can always tone it down later on, but right now, when nearly 500 to 600 million people are still not properly nourished, this is not the time to debate it. This is the time to go full throttle towards development and well-being. Later on, we can debate the many nuances that we would like to look at in terms of life. First and foremost thing is, we must take the nation towards that possibility that every human being has equal opportunity and possibility and finds full expression to their lives in this country. In the making of Bhavya Bharat, every one of us have a role, particularly the youth of this nation, I beseech you that you must stand up and do the right things.